complete get into Darius. I think PTA is better into Darius. Because into Darius, you need to go... You got to kill him before he gets 5 stack. So I go PTA Ignite in that lane. Mm, he's pulling the wave. This guy's a smart Rengar, I can tell already. He gets the minions closer to, for like his jumps. I should just ward this, to be honest. Man, I need to actually get an auto attack on this guy. He just runs out so fast. To be fair, though, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm running. Fle I'm trying fleet in this lane, so I have a lot less kill pressure. Yeah, this matchup is really hard versus a good Rengar because he can just save his W like that. His empowered W just auto cleanses my E. I don't even get the fling if he times it well. Oh, I misclicked on that melee. What you do to Yeah, he's sitting on my stacks to counter my E. This guy knows the matchup really well. I, I can already tell this guy's way better than other Rengars that I faced. Is he going to hold the wave? I really want to get a call back here. I don't think it's that good of a hold. That's not bad for us. Plus, Kindred's going to be topside since his mark is up there. So I kind of just want to get out of this land. I don't want to be. I definitely don't want to be up in the land. Yeah, Rengar lane is really goofy. I agree. Just flying out of the bushes over and over. I've always kind of thought there should be a cooldown on his leap. Not like a massive cooldown, but just at least like five seconds maybe or something. I feel like it just gives him too much lane dominance. I'm going to be annoying and just hold this wave. Because he's not running teleport. So he doesn't want to back with the wave right here. Landies on this guy. Yeah, if they made the cooldown scale with levels, that'd be a good idea. That'd be a really good idea. Okay, it looks like he finally backed. Cannon wave. I think. I think I just have to TP back here. I hope I don't lose cannon for this. I think I maybe do. If I try to push there, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die though. Especially if I get ganked. I should live. I should live even if I get ganked right now. With flash up. Guy's trying so hard to sidestep my E. I don't even really want to throw it out, to be honest. Unless I land that Q first. Oh, I should have blocked that cannon. I knew he was going to E it, too. Mm, 
Nice try. This Ringer is playing the lane very well. So slippery, man. Oh, that looked so weird, the effect on that. Must be his skin. Only those who survive this city deserve it. Hey, welcome in, uh, Natan. Hello, Glethel. He could be resetting. Let's fish. I think he is. This is a good time for me to back anyway. Nice, really good. 65 to 49. And this is a good rank art, too. Feeling very good about this land. Sadly, our bot lane is losing again, but at least they got Shaka support. I'm never too scared of Shaka support. It's always more of an annoyance than like a good champion, in my opinion. Wow, they got Caitlyn mid against Akali. That's going to be really good for us later. Akali's going to have a field day this game. Bunch of squishy ADC champs. I guess they do have the Kindred ulti to save. Dang, I feel like I don't have the damage to kill this guy though, man. With his fleet and his W heals. Okay, we're getting marked by Kindred, so he's probably up here. Yep, there he is. Oh man, we're gonna share all this XP. I don't like that. I need my level nine pretty bad versus Rengar right now. At least it was mo it was mostly mage minions at least. Yeah, the coal healing's coming in clutch. He's gonna jump to the minions, maybe. Come on, please. Okay, good. Holy moly, dude. Gave me a mini heart attack there. I thought he was gonna get away. Pretty sure if I don't flash there, I, I don't think I land my E because I think he was going to try to jump to the minions. So I was trying to cut him off of that. Let's go one plate. He still has his ulti, so he could use that to get back uh, faster. I guess I'll go for tabbies here. I don't like going Kindle and then nothing else. That just feels bad. What's going on down here? Is it good for us? Akali got a pretty nice shutdown. Akali getting any kills is just big value. With how good she looks this game.
Man, it's honestly hard to land E with that fleet speed. Wow, he healed right in time. He can also cleanse my pull too with his empowered W. So it's actually really hard to get a kill there. Or it's really hard to kill Rengar in general. I'm going to look for some mana here. He's going to nuke my wave with that timeout though. Dang, no fruit sadly. I don't think he knows that I have that warded or he forgot. Another wave that he loses though. Building a juicy CS lead. I think I'll sell my D blade for Cleaver here. It's too big of a purchase. It'd feel really bad to buy Kindle Longsword right now. Nice, our build is looking good. We got what we need to win versus Rengar now. Should be smooth sailing, hopefully. I would say the scaling is definitely on my side in this matchup. But Rengar can definitely take out a squishy pretty easily. Let's actually hold the wave here. Trying to predict a sidestep. I actually can't really hold the wave with my shock ends. Hey, Jason. Hello, Mr. Mash. Is he gonna go one shot Zaya? Oh, never mind. I thought he was ulting, maybe. Your bot lane is feeding? Yeah. I've had a lot of those lately, man. If I do get top lane, I think I can carry, though, if they slow down. Looks like we get Dragon though with the losing bot lane. That's huge. Delay the soul. Ah, I thought he was gonna jump to the melee. Holy moly, what a kill, dude. That was nice. Just many gunned him down. That was a good time to go for the ulti because he didn't have any passive stacks built. I'm down to fight this. This guy does not know how strong I am. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking. I got three levels on you, dude. Does he have backup or something? I don't know. I won't question it. I'll take it. Hey, Langmath. Thank you for the resub, man. I appreciate the five months, dude. <laughs> Wrong streamer. My bad. Wait, you meant to sub to somebody else? Well, hey, I appreciate it nonetheless.
Yeah, I don't know where his ult. I thought he was gonna ulti. To be fair though, even if he ultis, I think I'll just kill him afterwards. Something really nice about Urgot vs Kindred is you can uh, pull people out of his ulti with your grinder. So Urgot actually does really good versus Kindred ulti. Ah, uh, we should have focused Ezreal, but he flashed the wall. It's a, it's kind of a bad spot to fight as an Urgot. Ah, oh, that's not good, dude. Shut down to Ezreal, and this guy's already so fed. I kind of wish if enemy bot lane was fed, and they killed you for a shutdown, I wish it, like, didn't give them such a big shutdown. I know there's no way that Riot could actually calculate that. But it sucks when I get a lead top lane, because it's really hard to get a lead top lane, especially on Urgot. And it's, like, really easy for bot lane to get a lead. And then if I come out of my lane and I give the the ADC that's already popping off my shutdown, it just makes the game so difficult. Like, I almost feel like I would have been better off not getting a lead in top lane. That's the clone, right? They haven't looted the thingy, though. Aw, oh, he cleansed it. It's all good. We still got him. He did loot the Herald, though. It's called Boss and Law. Yeah, that's another... That's another reason why that strat is so good. You can't ever give a shutdown to the ADC. If you're just, like, inting. Can you cleanse Zergot ulti? Uh, you can cleanse the pulling part with Rengar W. So he can't cleanse the first part, just the part where I'm actually pulling. Yeah, I need to be ready for the Drake fight here. Let's get top pushed out. They have no teleports this game. Yeah, you can't actually use the, the summoner spell cleanse, but you can use like Gangplank Fruit. Rengar W. Doesn't even look like I need a TP so far. I'll just get a ton of tower gold then. Oh my gosh, that damage though. Well, now you don't have an escape route because he used your E for damage. I'm not even going to TP, man. I'm healing up so much with fleet too. Okay, we should get out. I don't want to TV one the Kindred Rengar without ulti. I also don't really... Even if I could take in him, I don't really want to yet. I have a red buff here. Maybe I can stick to him. Nah, he's so fast. Oh, he has ulti back up. Watch, I'm gonna kill Caitlyn here. Wow, she was definitely flashing the Lux ulti there. Also, I'm a freaking raid boss right now, dude. 
I haven't even spent my gold. Just wait till I get a mythic. Gosh, Fleet feels so good mid game, too. Like, this is just sustaining me. I hope we get this. Their jungle spot, we, we should be good. Unless they get a good Ezreal ulti steal. Oh my god, I thought they stole it, but it was the Rengar summoning Rift Herald. That actually scared me. I legit thought he jumped in and stole it. I got him. I need to take it back, guys. I got 5k in the pocket. I don't even know what I'm buying. I should definitely go damage. A lot of range champs. Let's just go stride. That sounds good. Still have a ton of gold, too. I'll just go Titanic in a game like this. Probably like Titanic, Grudge, or GA. I want to go full damage. Um, the tier 2 tower, they give 700 gold now. They got buffed kind of recently. Yeah, if you get tier 2 right now, you just get so rich. If you get like a kill into tier 2 and like a few waves, you just get so much gold. I love how the fleet proc works on towers too, man. That's so nice. Rampage. I'm hoping my team can push mid. Try to make use of this Baron buff. Yeah, it kind of sucks they're getting mid tower. That I feel like that should not be happening while we have Baron. It should be a good push, though. I really don't think they can kill me right now. Yeah, you get full healing from the the fleet proc on tower. Tower champions and jungle camps, you get full healing. But minions, you don't get full healing. Look, I can just yoink him out of that. It's so good. Jeez, what a game, dude. I wasn't expecting to get this fed, honestly. That mid game was insane. That was really nice. I'm going to TP so they can't kill the blob. It's a nice little strat when you got a Zac on your team. Holy good game, dude. Very nice. Also, we technically got support that game. So the support traded with me. That Lux was actually a top laner. And I think that's why our bot lane was kind of struggling. But that's why somebody in the team chat was like, give this guy Urgot every game. <laughs> that's funny. I'm going to give it to Lux for giving the roll, though. That was nice of them. Nice. Most damage in the game. 29k, almost 30k. Oh, dude. Over 1,000 damage a minute. That was only a 25-minute game. 4.2k fleet healing. Also, Bloodline was healing a little bit. You can't actually see the healing, sadly. Wow, we completed Bloodline at 21 minutes. 1400 second win. I've been testing Bloodline when they don't have much CC. I actually do feel like it kind of makes a difference. If you have fleet with it, it feels kind of good. 